Hello everyone, I'm Spikezilla Productions. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Basic Fun My Little Pony Sparkler Reissue. Shoe. Yeah, this is my first ever review on the topic of ponies other than my Spike collection. This was recently added into my collection, as a matter of fact. So, um, uh... For starters, let's look at her packaging. So, she comes in, she came in this box. There was a sticker here, but that's currently on the back of my computer. Right here is where her comb would be. Right here is where the doll or pony sits. Right here we have Sparkler, My Little Pony, Unicorn and Pegasus collection on this side of the box, you got Firefly, the G1 equivalent of Rainbow Dash, Twilight, who is, well, Twilight, Medley, who I don't think has a G4 counterpart, um, uh, Sunbeam, Glory, who is another counterpart to Rarity, along with Sparkler. The back of the box has um uh, has the four in this set, which are Surprise, who is pretty much who is the inspiration behind um uh, Pinkie Pie. And then there's Heartthrob, who I don't think has a G4 counterpart. Gusty, which I know I I've, I've seen customs of G4 versions of her. And then Sparkler. And right here, not on, and also in, on the back, it's uh, in the like back part of the package. It says, um, uh, it says includes pony, comb, ribbon, and sticker. And right here in the corner, there's the basic fun logo on on the back. You just got some legal mumbo jumbo, and that's pretty much it for the the packaging. So here is Sparkler, and for her one accessory, she has a comb. Yeah, it's pretty much just a basic comb. You know how this works. You can comb through her hair and stuff she does have this bow right here which is which i don't recommend taking off because uh, although the recreations are rubber band on i still wouldn't recommend you removing them but uh yeah for painting she has, um, uh, purple eyes with some, uh, blush, it looks like. And she is a unicorn, as noticed by this horn right here. Her symbol is that of some diamonds, which is obviously how she inspired Rarity. Her mane is sort of a... is... Um, uh, a lavender and white, a bright white, some bright purple and white, and some pink, along with the tail being just being that purple and white mixture. For articulation, she only has one point of articulation, and that's the head. The head can go all the way around. But then again, the original figure, there is no head at all. There's no head articulation at all is what I meant to say. Like, her head was glued into place right here. However, when Basic Fun reissued this, they decided that they were going to give her articulation. For size comparison, here we have her with the Generation 1 Spike. Looks very cool next. Looks very good next to her. Here she is next to another Hasbro made figure. 
another Hasbro toy. Jabba Glob. And, uh, here she is next to the Playmates Godzilla Classics line. Jetto Jaga. Here she is compared with the Disney Funko Pop of Wally. Here she is, and lastly, here she is next to Lego Godzilla. Yeah. Oh wait, one more size comparison. Let's bring out the big boy. Spikezilla and Comic Con Godzilla. So, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this review. If you would like to see more videos, please let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!